Hello, 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 my name is Melanie, or G to the MN, and today I am finally doing my end of the year binder flip throughs. So basically twice a year, I will just go over everything that I have accumulated, everything that I've collected, uh, a mid-year and an end of year, right? Most K-pop unboxers do this, but this is actually the very first year that I am just incorporating BTS alongside everyone else. Normally I give BTS their own video, but December has just been very wild, and I don't know if I'll have the time so I'm like okay we're just going to put them with everyone else but I am going to do BTS first but I hope you enjoy this I have eight binders as of now but um okay so these and then my other BTS binders they are four ring binders I will link all my supplies down below as well because I use different binders different sleeves different pocket pages um and then all my other binders are still the three ring but I do hope in 2022 to just move over to four ring completely and to move over to the Amazon uh Japan pocket pages as well and get away from Andy Jack and Ultra Pro so hopefully I'll a lot of fun changes in the new year as well also <laughs> I'm not going to show any of my 17 collection uh, I know I keep hinting at it I know I keep showing you guys it but I promise you January or February you will have a video of me completely starting that collection and it's very exciting I'm very excited for that but okay I hope you enjoy everything again I will link everything down below I will link time codes in case you just want to see certain parts of my collection and I just hope you enjoy. But okay, let's get into BTS. Okay, let's start it out with Cardin Jimin. Cardin is a book character from one of my favorite books of all time, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. And basically when I first got into BTS, one of these uh, bookish fan artists did this and I bought this from them. I will link it down below. I don't think you can get this anymore, but they had a bunch of BTS and like different book characters. It was really, really cool. I'm pretty sure Namjoon was Kaz Brecker from Six of Crows. And I'm like, oh, it was, it was amazing. But okay, so I am Jimin Bias, <laughs> but I also collect Namjoon and JK. So, okay, we have Oh, Are You Late 2? And then we have the School Love Affair Special Editions. We have this Mm, G Cook, really cute card from like a magazine shoot thing they did. I don't know. I bought that from my friend and I just really, really love it a lot. Also, the back has like a little thing from Yoongi. It's actually like really, really, really beautiful. But um, okay, then we go into School Love Affair. <laughs> I know I said I was going to fill this out before the end of the year, but the end of the year just got very wild. But I do have Jimin and JKs and I have both variants of Jimin's with the arms out and the arms in. And then we have Dark and Wild, and then some group cards as well. And then I did end up completing all three of their dope PCs. I'm so, so, so grateful for those. I don't know if I want to get the group one. I feel like I'm trying to move away from group cards and unit cards a little bit, but we will see. <laughs> but I just added this Namjoon HYYH um, because my friend Melis got it for me for Christmas and I love it. And then we have Young Forever and I actually do have all the Polaroids for this one so it feels good because I most certainly do not wear wings. <laughs> soon, 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 soon. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. But okay. And then we have uh, the other um, HYYH part two, and then we have a random G Cook fifth muster hollow. <laughs> Listen, I just really wanted to fill up the nine pockets, okay? And then we have You Never Walk Alone with the iconic Nam June Grape June. So beautiful. Love that card. And then I just collect Jimin for uh, the Love Yourself trilogy and for Map of the Soul. <laughs> So here are all of Jimin's hers and all of Jimin's tear. Tear is my favorite BTS album to this day still. And then we have Answer and then we have Persona. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and then uh, we have some Persona postcards. I do have the lenticular for these two. I am missing the her lenticular, which is very, very expensive. I don't know if I'm going to keep these or not because it bothers me that I don't have the last one and I just don't know if I love them. Also, they're different sizes too and that freaked me out because I thought that someone had sold me a fake but they're just different sizes. But I have bias line for the postcards and honestly, <laughs> I'm just missing soap. <laughs> but here we are. Uh, you just saw me redo this page so I am having a giggle but this is the BTS World soundtrack 
and I only have Jimin's one special PC. I don't know if I love how I put them diagonally like that. I don't know, but this is BTS World. <laughs> And then I have Map of the Soul 7, and this is Jimin 1, 2, 3, 4, and then all of the group cards, which again are so dark, minus version 3, but I don't know, version 3 is my favorite of this card of him too, so I'm like, wow, but, <laughs> and then we move on to B era, and you know, life goes on, and then, okay, so these are the B, okay, so this was the B deluxe edition, this is and essential edition these are the b deluxe edition these are the b essential editions and these are the group cards that i i believe this one came in the essential edition and these two came in the deluxe edition but basically these were the pre-order benefits um and the us was region lock so i had to do goes and i did a go with my friend sophie for jimin and then i did a go with my friend paula for namjoon and then <laughs> Paula also gave me Tay, and then I did a trade with Malus for JK, which this card really put me through it. People did not want to trade anyone for this blonde JK Perder benefit, which is valid. And then these are their random PCs from the Essential Edition. And then these are all of Jimin's Lucky Draws, and they are so mixed up. <laughs> okay, so these are from, uh, this is the very first round with B and they like came out like right with the deluxe edition and then basically these two are hollow you can't really tell because i have them double sleeved in the thing but this one has little hollow stars and this one has little hollow hearts oh my gosh it's really faint but they're there i promise these are from the japanese edition and then these are the other uh like korean lucky draws uh from soundwave and mtu uh, from the essential and the deluxe edition as well, but <laughs> I'm so thankful to have all of them, right? I didn't think I was gonna get these ones for the longest time, but I did and I'm very 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 grateful And I do love the backs of these ones Okay, and then we go in to butter and okay, so these are the uh, Japanese pre-order benefits uh, Weaver's pre-order benefits, which are my favorite out of everything they're my favorite so i'm like wow and then these are the uh two version peaches and cream uh the beach ones are superior i'm obsessed with them but obviously i collected bias line and then okay so these are jimin's lucky draws i'm i know this is power station i'm not sure which one's mt and which one's sound wave i'm probably mixing them up but that's what these are just his lucky draws these are to Permission to Dance, uh, Live in LA, Lucky Draws. I was unable to get Namjoon, but I'm really, really happy that I was able to get Jcook. And then these were the Global Korean Butter Pre-Order Benefits. And I did not pull a single one of these members. I had to trade for them all. <laughs> but I'm very thankful that I do have them. And then these are the group PCs. I don't know. <laughs> I should probably put it in the middle, but I like Jimin's Lucky Draws in the middle, so I don't know. But these are the uh, fold-out inclusions. I keep going back and forth if I want to just do a nine pocket of these, but I actually... I only have two Jimin's, I think. But I also think it looks really, really good, and I like it like this, and I think it's cute. And then these were the random film strips that you got as well. Um... I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they look great in my binder, but I think they're cute, and I love film strips, especially with Jimin. Okay, so I didn't even say this at the beginning, but I have two BTS binders, and this one is filled with Korean album things, Japanese album things, and then DVD things as well. And then my other binder is filled with tour stuff. And, okay, so these are some of Jimin's Japanese PCs. I do not have all of his Japanese PCs. I don't know if I'm going to go back and get them. I I want to, but some of them are very expensive, but I am very happy with what I do have. Um, these are the only two from BTS The Best that I have. There was a lot. <laughs> I should get at least one more, right? Uh, this was a Christmas collab thing and I'm obsessed with it. I need to take a picture before the end of the year of this because I just, I love this up against my Christmas tree. And these are the Japan B Magnets. <laughs> I probably shouldn't keep these in my binder, but they're cute and I want them, so I'm going to put them in there. Okay, so this is Jimin's DVDs. Uh, 
I was really, really, really lucky because basically I got into BTS in 2019 and I was able to buy so many of Jimin's DVDs with the photo cards for like really good prices. <laughs> My only regret is that I didn't buy everything because now all of these are so expensive. So I'm very grateful for what I do have, but I do wish I would have completed more because I only have the DVDs. I don't have the Blu-rays, but that's why I left these white spots here and made it a seven pattern so that maybe one day. But this is the Wings DVD which uh, is one of my favorite concert DVDs, probably my favorite concert DVD. Wings era is my favorite BTS era anyways. And I just love this. I love the peach hair on him. Uh, this is Memories 2017, his DVD. Uh, this is the Love Yourself trilogy. This is New York, I think, and this is Europe because this is 100% um, Seoul, which <laughs> I love anything that's like serendipity, right? And this outfit, everything on him, perfect. This is one of my favorite photo cards in existence, which again, I always say this, but I'm like, I like concept cards. Like I love selfie cards too, but you know. So this is Memories 2018. Memories 2018 was one of the first things I ever purchased. It was the first thing I purchased of BTS's, but I got the Blu-ray and I pulled Jin and I gave that to a friend for Christmas. <laughs> and then I just bought Jimin's DVD with his photo card. And I, I do wish that I would have made an effort to make sure I got his Blu-ray too, but I am thankful for this one. He looks so freaking good here. And then this is his uh, sixth muster PC, the Korean version. I do not have the Japanese version, uh, but I'm very thankful to have the Korean version. <laughs> the Japanese one's very expensive. Okay, so then these are Memories 2019, and this is the DVD, and this is the Blu-ray. Obviously, these came out in 2020 when I was like at the peak of BTS collecting. <laughs> So I'm very thankful that I have both of them. This one is actually double-sided as well. And then this is the Map of the Soul concept book, which I'm so uh, grateful to have Jimin's full set of these. This holo card, I don't like the way these holo cards are made, and I don't like Jimin's like that much, but I'm still thankful to have all of them. And then this is the Map of the Soul Blu-ray. I do not have the DVD. I have JK, and I was waiting on a friend to maybe get Jimin, but I don't know if they're going to be able to, and so I really, really, really want to trade for Jimin because I get more freaked out that, like, people are going to trade me a fake or something, and I just really want to get this completed and have this page done, and oh, it's so beautiful. I also love the back of this, but okay, and then we get into Memories uh, 2020. This is the DVD, and this is the Blu-ray. This card is everything this whole entire set for all seven members it's their best photo card of the whole year if i did a video like that like my favorite photo cards of my biases through 2021 this would be jimin's he looks so freaking good like i just can't believe um this is winter package which is double-sided and so 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 cute <laughs> very 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 thankful and then uh, I just sorted these. These are the season's greetings. So for BTS's season's greetings, they did a random magnet and I did pull Jimin and I'm so happy about it, but they gave us a full set of photo cards. Now, I don't know if I love this because I just have Jimin for everything else, right? I guess I could put JK here, but <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> but I just don't know if I love this. I might end up taking them out and just keeping Jimin in it, right? So I don't know. This is a work in progress, but the backs are really, really pretty. Like how cute he is. Oh, my heart. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this is also the winter package film strip. Um, this is uh, one of his summer package guides. Uh, BTS no longer do summer packages, but they are so beautiful. Um, this is the 2020 winter package guide. This is the 2019 summer package guide. This was also one of the first things I bought as ARMY. Uh, this is from Season's Greetings last year. My friend Leah traded with me. This is from Season's Greetings 2020. Leah gifted this to me and it means the absolute world to me. Um, this is the Bring the Soul Lenticular, which was actually the very first thing I ever unboxed on this channel. <laughs> I pulled JK, but I did trade with a friend at the time for Jimin. Okay, and these are the bookmarks. This one is the 
Brazil one and this one is the UK one I think and the Brazil one means a lot to me because I tried to this was my very first trade with my friend Paula Hobanero <laughs> I pulled Hobie and she would, became my very first army friend and we're still really good friends and I just really love her a lot and I'm really thankful every time I look at that I think of her but this is from BTS's Muster um, the Blu-ray and this actually means a lot to me too because I was going through a really really hard time when this got delivered to me and my friend Ness uh, who I love so much they mean so much to me I've been really good friends with them through books and through like everything and I've just known them a long time they basically wrote to me and they were like I pulled Jimin it doesn't matter who you pull and like it just really makes me emotional and I feel like this is a really positive point of that in my life because of this memory. I don't know. This this really, this means a lot to me. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. And then these are part of the um, live photos that came with that. And I also have Namjoon and NJK's. And then this is a Japan thing for Love Yourself. I don't know. I got this like right at the beginning of becoming ARMY. But he looks really good in it. So I love it. But okay. And then we have the Namjoon divider. Which, oh, I guess I added the collab stuff to this bind. Look at me. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so we have collab stuff. These are a bunch of ad things BTS have done from the body friend chair to the cider to contact lenses to Samsung buds and phones. <laughs> a sweet, sweet, sweet friend just sent me this Namjoon one. But a bunch of collab things. And then uh, the Phila stuff, which these cards are really beautiful. The backs are really beautiful too. The um, 31 Flavors or Baskin Robbins thing. The Lemina. Uh, these are the wallet PCs. My friend Amy uh, was able to get them and she sold me by a sign and I'm so thankful. It does make me laugh that all the hype groups did these. It's one of those things where I'm like, I want to put them all on the same page. Like TXTs and Hypens and 17s and everything. Okay, so these are the D icon. This is... I'm not sure the year, but this is in LA, <laughs> so I really, really love this because I love anything with BTS in LA or in Vegas, and they're so beautiful. Um, this is an SKT collab, and SKT means a lot to me. Um, SK Telecom is my favorite League of Legends team. <laughs> there are a lot of people's favorite League of Legends team, right? and I understand <laughs> it's a lot different than back in like the heyday. But Faker is just like my favorite, right? And even like them doing that run BTS with Faker and stuff like I just still can't believe that happened but basically I just love it like the SK Telecom with it just because I don't know and it looks like he has a Nirvana shirt on too and that makes me laugh too but okay <laughs> and then we get into last year's D icon and all of these are from Jimin's magazine and then these are from the group magazine and then you also got some unit photos as well and I just stuck them like that um this is from the VT cosmetic uh collab and I did buy the perfume that was also one of the first things I did as army there's the group one right there but I don't know <laughs> I don't even think I ever wore Jimin's but I have it I still have it but I know perfume like obviously goes bad right so I'm like oh my god I should have like tried to I his smelled good genuinely but okay <laughs> then we have these are mood lights from different festas these are the puzzle uh, transparent PCs. This is a luggage tag PC from Love Yourself. And then this is like a House of BTS thing. I don't really know like if you got that, if you went to the pop-up store or what, but I have that. <laughs> and then these are the Medi Heal face mask collab. There's four different ones and I have all four. Even though I believe only two of them, like there's there's four different kinds, but I believe only two of them give you the solo PCs and then the other two give you unit PCs. But anyways, I have all four of Jimin's. Um, this is more Philo postcards. He looks so good here. Absolutely obsessed. And this is a Samsung lenticular. It says Weaver Shop on it too, so I guess if you bought it through Weaver Shop. I don't really love that, but I have it. <laughs> and then we have JK. Okay, so this has just different things, I guess, that I didn't really know where to put, like the In The Soup clear cards. <laughs> this is from In The Soup uh, Season 1. This is from In The Soup Season 2. I don't love clear cards, but it is what it is. <laughs> and then these are the photo cards from Season 2, and this is like a lucky draw. It's really, really thick, but it's a group one. I understand I probably should have put white sleeves here, but we move, we move. <laughs> okay. So this is from the Serendipity Exhibition. Uh, this was the very first thing I went to as ARMY, and it just means a lot to me. But these are all Jimin's Season 1. 
And these are all of his season two. <laughs> these are all of his season three. And basically, like, the exhibition, like, let's say the exhibition lasted, I don't freaking know, like, nine days. Then for three days, it was season one. Three days, it was season two. Three days, it was season three, right? But um, the way that it worked, did I go two days and I got two sets? I can't remember, but I know I had to end up buying one of the seasons, but it was fine. But I think this is JK season two. It's so funny. <laughs> You'll see. Okay, so I bought JK. At this point in time, I felt like Jin was my wrecker. And basically, I ended up buying JK's full set <laughs> for season two. And then I bought two Nam Junes, even though, and then I bought one of everyone else. So I love this one on Jin with the yellow sweater. And then Yoongi, and then Hobi and Tay. I just bought my favorites. And again, I think these are season two, but I bought two Nam Junes and JK's full set. I'm like, no, I, <laughs> those were my records back then. I just didn't want to admit it, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so this is from the um, photo book from the um, Serendipity exhibition. This is from the clipboard. Now, these are postcards, and I actually think that these are Japanese postcards, not Korean postcards, even though, like, I went to that one in LA, right? But, uh, yeah, this is Jimin's A and B, and then Namjoon's A and B, and JK's A and B, and then these are the In the Soup postcards, which Jimin looks so freaking cute, like, <laughs> my heart. These are the Break the Silence postcards, absolutely obsessed. Also, yeah, the main reason, like, these are Amazon Japan um, pockets, and you can fit postcards in them in four, and it looks so nice, and I'm so grateful. <laughs> Love the four ring binders. Okay, these are the Weavers New Year's Eve postcards. These are the version three light stick photo cards. And this is the special edition, the Map of the Soul special edition ones. And then this is my first army kit as army. Uh, this was like a renewal benefit. I feel like, I don't think they do renewal benefits now. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I bought this from someone. And these are the photo cards that came with it. I don't love the size of them. I have them all behind Nam Junes on here and it slips around. This is my army card and I just hid my name. This is this year's membership. Well, I shouldn't say this year's. This was 2021's uh, membership uh, PCs. And these were actually really cute because they're like mm, fairy tale esque, right? And this is my army card as well. And that's the back of them. Look how freaking cute that is. But okay, let me get my second binder. All right. So basically this is like my tour binder, but it has a few special things at the beginning as well. Um, okay, so these are broadcast PCs. This is Fake Love Broadcast PC. This is DNA. This, these are both Persona. And this is um, Map of the Soul 7, the serious version. <laughs> okay, so I really always wanted to collect all of Jimin's broadcast PCs, but some of them are so expensive. Like, War on Hormones, I will never get that. Like, it is so freaking expensive, but so many of them. Like, like, I don't know. So I always go back and forth if I want to seriously collect these or not. We will see what happens next BTS comeback and if they have broadcast PCs or not. And then I will make my decision. I will always keep this fake love one. This means everything to me. <laughs> Orange Peekaboo Jimin is everything. Like, that is my unpopular, like, Jimin stan, um... Uh, opinion is like those orange peekaboos were everything on him and fake love era just means a lot to me and fake love is one of my favorite bts songs so i don't know but just thoughts of future collecting you know but <laughs> this is the most expensive thing i ever bought <laughs> of jimin's <laughs> uh i did pay a pretty penny for it but and and they've like stayed at that price too i feel like so i don't know <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that was a good investment or not. But these are Butterfly Dreams. Butterfly Dreams is also something that I wanted to collect all seven of. But it's so scary to collect them because so many people sell fakes. Now these two I got from someone who I trust a lot and I know that they're real. But um, this is just something else where I'm like, Melanie, are you going to be happy with just these two? Do you want to collect all seven? What do you want to do, right? So I don't know. And I don't have the postcard. So just things to think about, you know? But, okay, so then we get into all of BTS's tours. So these are from Epilogue on stage. 
he looks so beautiful i love these and i love the size of them as well and then we have oh yeah and i have japanese and korean stuff mixed into the tour binder as well but it is all chronological but also i have cleaned up some things too because i had a lot of pages with just like one or two cards on it like i had like two epilogue cards right and i'm just like i'm taking these out of my binder because they're taking up so much room and i only have two if i decide to focus on that and get the full set then i'll put them back in my binder you know but this is from second muster i knew i needed to have this because he has books <laughs> i'm obsessed and i just have the group one as well okay so this is from the third fan meeting in japan this look on him he looks so freaking good i'm like oh my gosh and then i also have this from it as well then we move on to wings era which is my favorite era so i have a lot of stuff from it and <laughs> we love a v-man subunit always always but this is like the stamp set and this is the v-man frame sometimes these sleeves it's a little bit slippery but okay <laughs> then we have the Jimin frame and then we have the fan club uh benefit of Jimin and Tay, which is so freaking cute I'm obsessed but this is the version one mini photo cards which I'm missing for I really hope to actually complete this in the new year I really really beg but I do have version two done and again wings era is just my favorite so I want to collect everything this is uh Jimin's lenticular in the wings concept book which the wings concept book is like my favorite bts item that i own i'm debating if i want to do shelf tours or not basically <laughs> i have a lot of bookshelves a lot a lot a lot of bookshelves and i never did a bookshelf tour because it just feels really overwhelming to me and i'm like am i gonna do a k-pop shelf tour i don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see but okay uh lots more wing stuff this is a Japanese wings thing. Uh, this is from Jimin's essay book, which I have displayed on my K-pop shelves. <laughs> okay, this is Jimin's uh, wings photo book. I have both versions, both sets. They're everything. These are so beautiful. These are so absolutely stunning. I wish Big Hit would give us stuff like this again. Also, black and white photography <laughs> was made because of Park Jimin. Like, he's so... I, no words he's the most beautiful human in the whole entire world inside and out okay then we enter the love yourself uh tour um okay so this was the start right so cute love 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 and then this is uh the love yourself final in korea and i think these were the first ever mini photo cards i bought i think i think i think i think maybe it was the japanese ones i think it was the korean ones i think i could be wrong though but i also definitely bought the japanese ones i love this photo card set from him he looks so freaking good like it's so funny because i'm always like black hair jimin's my favorite and like orange peekaboo is my favorite and like oh my god you know jimin with like the iconic pink hair and everything but I always end up picking pictures that are my favorites of Jimin when he has blonde hair. So I don't even know. I have no excuse. But this is like my favorite photo card set of him. And like just a true prince. And like the Chanel. Like he just looks so good. Like he's perfect. Like actually perfect. And like look at him. Like phenomenal. Like absolutely breathtaking. But okay. So this is Magic Shop. Uh, I definitely bought these as well. And I think they're really, really, really beautiful. I really like this shirt on him. He looks super cute. I like the lighting of this one quite a bit. And then we get in to Map of the Soul 7, which a lot of mixed emotions. <laughs> but I'm still thankful to have these, and he's so beautiful. And I love the necklace on him in these ones. And then these are all of the unit pieces, which again, I don't know if I'll keep in my binder come the new year, but I'm thankful to have them. And then this is Bang Bang Con, which is definitely extras they had from Episode 7. Uh, but he looks so good. His hair looks phenomenal. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I am missing one of these photo cards for the units, which I'm going to be honest with you, this is one of the main reasons I don't want to collect units because people sell this unit for like $35. And it makes me really irritated and i'm just like you know what i don't need unit cards i don't need unit cards <laughs> and it sucks too because jimin's not even in the unit that i'm missing so i'm just like oh my gosh uh it's like this but it's like the four of them but it's orientated like this right 
I don't know. Like I said, people sell it for a wild amount of money everywhere on, you know, Macari Japan, on Macari US, everywhere. But these are the tickets. Um, I originally said I wanted to get Namjoon and JK's golden ticket as well to fill out the six pocket, but I never did. And JK's was hard to trade for, and I was just like, I'm happy with this, it's fine. Um, okay, these are the postcards, which are so beautiful. A Jimin in a suit, everything, right? And then we get in to Map of the Soul 7, which is so, 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 so beautiful. <laughs> and then the units. Now, uh, this unit was made for me. It's the Melanie line. We love to see it. Always, always, always. Look how freaking cute they are. And then these are his uh, photo book pictures. And then these you could buy if you bought the concert. And these came in in mood light and these were just like tickets you could buy they're really really thick they're like lucky draw material and they look like um like little subway passes they're really really cute and the backs of these are hollow really 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 nicely made okay and then we get into random gym and things that i have okay let me see this was from a clipboard these were from ring pcs i think this was like a portable charger from bang bang con this is the film strip thing um amy ended up giving me that and namjoon's namjoon's is on the other side but it's just from a bunch of like random merch things and i only have jimin for it and those are the backs of them i also have apparently his fifth magic shop a he has another one of these too but i just don't have it so i'm like i'm just gonna leave that there for right now <laughs> but this is where we get in where i do have jimin namjoon and jk stuff okay so this is happily ever after <laughs> my friend Kim sold this to me. Uh, this is B. And this is the Hybe Insight PCs for round one. I just bought in Hypen's round two, so I'm just like, I'm sure BTS are gonna have some, right? Um, this is for butter, this is for muster, and then these are for the holiday wishes um uh, little boxes. So I ended up not getting Jimin's cardigan. I do regret it. <laughs> I do I am looking for it, I'm looking for it. Um, and then it's the same with Namjoon. Happily Ever After, B, the Hybe Insight PCs, Butter, the Suzu Muster, and then the uh, Little Wishes uh, Holiday Boxes. And then the same for JK. <laughs> Happily Ever After, B, the Hybe Insight PCs, the Butter, Cardigan, um, the Suzu. What was Suzu's pajama set, I think? And then it was uh, Little Wishes boxes again. He looks so good there. I love his jacket too. And then we get in to more muster stuff. This was the advent calendar. You got these and you got these two sets of photo cards. And then you also got these. <laughs> so I just made them double sided. Uh, this was if you ordered like the 10 pack of mini photo cards, you got these special ones. And then I just cut the back because it had like a cool hollow thing. And I'm like, okay. This is everyone's special PC. I don't know why I collected everyone's special PC, but I just had good luck, so I just did it. But you do need a special PC to complete a set. So I have two special PCs of Jimin, two of JK, and two of Namjoon. I also did this for um, uh, Permission to Dance, you will see in a second. <laughs> but so cute. I'm so obsessed with this card. You have no idea. Like, I love it so much. Namjoon, out of his mind, always. So, so, so beautiful. JK is so 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 cute. I weep. And then these are the unit cards. So 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 cute. And then we move on to the Chusuk merch. And these are Jimin's um like big photo book postcard things. They're so beautiful. The backs are really beautiful too. It's actually like a travesty that I'm actually hiding them, like putting them back to back. They're so beautiful. But this is Jimin's full set and I am so 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 grateful to have it <laughs> so for Namjoon I have a trade with my friend Leah and I have a trade with my friend Ronan and I'm very 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 thankful to hopefully have him complete and then Ronan also pulled the last JK I needed and these cards have put me through it I had a really really nice MOA friend trade me this JK and I'm so thankful that Ronan pulled JK but these are Jimin's uh, photo book pictures for permission to dance and they're really 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 thick I'm like oh my gosh these are all the special pieces for permission to dance and it's really cute because they all did little hearts <laughs> big 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 fan 
Oh, and this is this PC you got if you bought the full set as well. But uh, here's Jimin's full set, Permission to Dance, the teacup photo is everything. And this is like all my friends make connections with this now with Hoshi and a bunch of things. And it makes me laugh. <laughs> but we love to see it. We love to see it. And I like that half of them are orange and half of them are white. I think that's cute. Like a little cream sickle. Okay, and then moving on to Namjoon. Out of his mind completely. And then JK. I'm very, very, very thankful to have. And then all of the units as well. And that is everything. That is my whole entire BTS collection. I've worked really hard on it over the last two years. Uh, two and a half years, <laughs> two and a half years today. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a crisis. But I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm really, really grateful. I love Jimin so much. He is my alt bias of all alt biases, right? Um, and I'm just, I just love him. And I'm so, so, so thankful to have this collection. And I can't wait to see how it develops and how it changes and how it grows uh, in 2022. Okay, let's do in hyphen next, and then I will end the video with TXT. That's what we will say. But okay, for in hyphen, uh, Sunghoon is my bias, but I also collect Sunu. Sunu was my island bias, and I just love him a lot, like so, 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 so much. <laughs> and then um, I collect some things for Jungwon. I feel like Dimension Dilemma. I started like really collecting stuff for Jungwon, but I don't have him complete yet. So you, you, you will see. But okay, so this is Border Day 1, Sunghoon's um, two versions, and then also his Weaver's pre-order benefit. And very, very, very thankful. My very first in hype and pull ever was Jay's pre-order benefit, <laughs> and I traded him for a Sunghoon. But okay, and then we have Sunu and his two versions as well, and then his Weaver's pre-order benefit. So freaking cute. Okay, then we have a bunch of kind of just like wild stuff. Um, I have this binder uh, organized through era, obviously, like that's what I try to do with all of them. But I only have two of his lucky draws because basically I bought Sunu's lucky draws first. And then um, I was able to buy these two, but the other one was sold out everywhere. And now it goes for so much money. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so stupid. And I sold Sunu's for like what I paid for them and it was very cheap, you know. So I'm like, oh my gosh. But we move, we move. And these are the light stick pieces. This is a with fans. This is round one um i ended up doing goes for the other two rounds and then it didn't work out and that makes me really sad too <laughs> i had a really not amazing pre-order benefit time with day one but it is okay but okay these are both mesema pcs and i have sunghoon and sunu and yes they look the same we move we don't talk about it <laughs> um i love their signatures so much too but okay, these are the neck pillow PCs, and I do have junk ones. And then this is the very first uniform they have done. And I ended up pulling Sunghoons, which is very wild. But um, then I just bought Sunnews for a good price. And then I really hope I'm able to get junk ones of these little message memo thingies because they did put these on sale for Black Friday. So I'm really hoping someone sells me junk one. And then this page will be complete and it'll look so good and I'll be so happy. <laughs> But these are the like letter postcard things of Sunghoon and Sunio. This is a thing that Amy got when she, because she did a lucky draw go for us through Coco Dive, and then Coco Dive sent her this, and then she sent me it, and I was really happy. But okay, then we get into Carnival, and these are the upside, downside, and hype, hype <laughs> versions of his sets. And these are the lenticulars. So, so, so beautiful. A lot of you guys watched my bias pull uh, video and you loved that I pulled this one because it was the last one I needed. I was like, wow, that was really magical, wasn't it? But I have all of Sunu's as well and I even have a creepy doll Sunu, which my friend Karen sold me and I love her so much and I'm so thankful. But we will see after I spend more money on 17 <laughs> uh, if I go back and collect Jungwon's full sets of these two, right? 
but okay I only uh, after day one I decided to strictly and at that point I knew that Sunghoon was my only bias in, in hyphen and I decided just to collect his pre-order benefits so uh, this is round one of the lucky draws this is round two of the lucky draws and it's probably Soundwave MTU and definitely Power Station. This was the last one. It took me a really long time to get. But this is a shop PC. This is... Are these rounds one and two of with fans? Oh, it looks like they are. Yes, yes, yes. And I can't remember who I did round one through. But I know I did round two through Sophie. But I'm really, really, really thankful to have this page all filled out. And then this is a Mesima PC of his. Which again, the Mesima PCs always look like one of their lucky draws. But it's a really beautiful picture of him. I think it's absolutely stunning. But okay. So then we get into uh, Fever stuff. So this was the second pre-order i think for fever and i also pulled jungwon as well <laughs> i just have him on the back <laughs> i pulled all three of them i'm like i can't believe that um and then this was for the fever uniform uh pre-order and i pulled jungwon in sunghoon and then i just traded jungwon for sunu uh and then these are this japanese magazine thing that you could win and my friend Faye, he sung tv who has the best in hyphen collection she's his song bias she gave me both of these and i just love her so much i'm so thankful and it makes my heart really really happy and i'm just really really grateful and i always say this but in hyphen has the best card backs they have the best card fronts too but you know <laughs> Okay, so these are the Fever postcards, which really put me through it, because Weverse, this was the only time DHL lost my package. <laughs> Knock on wood, I hope they never lose it again. Um, but this is the Target postcard exclusive, and then this is the start of In Hypen's Japanese debut. And then these are all of Sunghoon's cards and pre-order benefits. These were the two cards that only one came in it but I got both of them I bought it twice you know um his solo um his solo uh album cover he's the P <laughs> and it's really 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 cute um I believe these two are the regular uh random pulls that you could pull just you could pull anyone but you have two options to pull Sunghoon right and then these are pre-order benefit and this is one of three of his lucky draws the other two are very, very, very expensive. This one was still pretty expensive, but he looks so good in it, and I'm so thankful. And this is a Sunu equivalent of this, and I don't know, it fills out a nine pocket page, and it makes my heart really happy, so we move. <laughs> and then these are the postcards, which again, so stunning, and I, I can't believe no words, right? Then we get into Dimension Dilemma, and this is when I was like, okay, because I did so many goes that I had almost all of Jungwon's uh, cards anyways, I am missing two, but these are all of the Scylla version, and these are the hollows, and these are the regulars. Wow, wow, wow. And then this is Odysseus, and I am missing his hollow, <laughs> but I will get it. I will get it again because I traded for it, <laughs> and I did it with this one too. <laughs> but it's okay. This is uh, Charybdis. Again, we have all the Sunghoons, and we have all the Sunus, <laughs> and we will get John ones. Okay, so. This is the only essential version, like the CD jewel case of Sunghoon's that I have. I do have a Jungwon and a Sunu as well that I could trade for the other two, but I keep going back and forth and being like, oh, do I just want to put, you know, them in here and then have one of each of them? I don't know yet. Um, I have an open Neokyo order. I'm like, maybe I'll just get Sunghoon's other two because I do want to exclusively collect Sunghoon, right? But these are a bunch of Dimension Dilemma. Uh, pre-order benefits, some Japanese, some Korean, all very beautiful. And then these are his lucky draws. So I'm saving this row right here for the with fans that just haven't shipped out yet because with fans just like takes forever. But this is round one and this is round two of all of his lucky draws. And I'm pretty sure it's Soundwave, MTU, and Power Station. So, so, so beautiful. Okay, so these are the target exclusives and then these are the uh round one weavers pre-order benefits and these are the round two weavers pre-order benefits and i just got this last sunny in the mail because i did a trade and i'm so happy and look at the backs like gorgeous 
Okay, and then these are what come in the essential editions as well. You always get a group PC too. I just throw them in here. And then these are the uniform PCs for Dimension Dilemma. I pulled Jungwon and Sunghoon. Uh, I don't know what I want to do yet. Now, like, again, I want to exclusively collect Sunghoon. I did trade Jungwon for Sunu, but I'm like, what if I just found a good deal for Sunu and then I had all three? That would be cool. So I'm ignoring that. Okay, these are all of the big inclusions that uh, come in all of the albums. I think they're beautiful. They fold out. I, I just kept them in here. I don't know if I'll always keep them in here or if I decide I do want a second in Hypen Binder with bigger inclusions, I'll move them out into that, right? But for right now, I'm very happy. Um, this is a Target exclusive postcard, which I'm obsessed with because Sunghoon is like right front and center and it's so freaking cute. Uh, this is a pre-order benefit. I forget if it's a lot. I can't remember who this is, but um, I'm very, very, very happy to have Sunghoon's. And then this was also a Weaver's Pruder Benefit, I want to say. So very thankful. <laughs> okay, this is last year's Seasons Greetings. This is 2020 Seasons Greetings. You got a full set of photo cards, which are all beautiful. And then um, I actually, uh, I traded for Sunghoon. And then I did a go and got Sunu. So I was really thankful to have both of them. These are the New Year's Eve postcards, which so, so, so cute. These are the N Connect postcards. <laughs> I just put them there, I guess. Um, this is Sunghoon's full N Connect set, and this is his special PC. And this is Sunny's full N Connect set and his special PC. And these are the unit cards, which again, I don't know if I want to collect unit cards going into the new year, but this is Sunghoon's DVD PC as well. And then these are the special Polaroid cards, which it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm like, wow, that's really cute. So I'm <laughs> really happy. I do have Jungwon's other special one as well. Um, this is the Gugu package. This is the random Sunghoon card. And this is his little drawing. I just think it's really cute. I also think Sunu's is so cute that I put it on the back. <laughs> okay, and then this is uh, the most recent fan meet photo card sets. And it's pretty much like one, two, three, one, two, three. I just did it like this. I think it looks amazing. This is like the perk of collecting three members. Look how beautiful they all look. I am so obsessed. You have absolutely no idea. Still sends me. I thought he was reading a book. <laughs> okay, so that's the end, right? This is 10. And then this is Sunghoon's mini binder PC that you got when you bought the member specific binder right and then these are the special pieces that you got when you bought the set of all of those so i'm guessing they're going to do a dvd maybe a blu-ray i don't know so i'm just like okay i'll keep these like that and then i'll put the dvd card in there and then wow it's season's greetings which um i hope to have a sunghoon id card here we will see if i end up putting a sunny id card here or if i end up putting like a code card in here because it looks really cute and it says like weather lab and stuff and i think it would look really cute so but look at the backs of those they're so perfect okay <laughs> This is the hillbilly version of the Little Wishes collection. So I do have his two uh, Little Wishes special box PCs coming in from a friend I did a go with. Uh, but this is his cardigan and sweater PC, I want to say. I'm not sure which is which, but I do have them. And it does make me giggle, but <laughs> it'll look good. It'll look good. And then this is his first membership PC. I do have Sunny's on the way, ironically enough. I just got it. Uh, I just bought it, I should say. And then these are the first round of Hybe Insight PCs. And I actually just bought Sunghoon's second round. And it has four cards. So I'm like, oh my god. So, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what I do. And then these are their Hybe Insight postcards. And they're so, 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 so beautiful. But, okay. That is my Enhypen collection. Um, I have a uh, stand in Hypen since pre-debut. I, I was an eggy. <laughs> It's just really wild to me to think about how many cards I have though, like after, you know, a little bit over a year. I'm like, oh no, oh no, <laughs> it's very insane. But my heart is very, very happy and I love them so much. But okay, well, let's get into another binder. Okay, let's do Itsy. Oh, I, okay, this is a newer collection. Um, I started officially standing Itsy this summer 
and I have already made so much progress. <laughs> Region is my bias. This is a beautiful art print my friend Malis made for me. Very, very, very thankful. But okay, here's some icy postcards. Um, oh, this is the first three ring binder you're seeing. I promise everything will look better when it's in a four ring binder. <laughs> oh, I am Region bias. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Um, okay, so this is the Dala Dala Polaroid. And then these are the It's Icy cards, and these are the It's Me cards, or Wannabe Era cards. And I'm obsessed with all of these cards, I'm obsessed with these borders. I think Itzy also has the best cards, and I think they have the best card backs too. I'm very in love. But here are some Itzy mm, little like mini posters, and I have the group one as well. And then these are the Reusion postcards very very thankful the three different editions and then we get into not shy <laughs> this is our little pre-order poster these are tower records cards this is with drama this is a sub k one and then these are the three versions i do not collect unit cards but my beautiful friend eliana did gift me this one for christmas um leah probably is <sighs> I feel like all of Itzy are my bias records, but I feel like Leah and Yeji are constantly fighting for, like, the position, right? I don't know, though, because I feel like Che and Yuna have been too lately, so I don't know, actually, but I'm just very, very thankful for this card and for Eliana. But then we get into Guess Who, and I am missing Che and Yuna's, which I'm like, oh my gosh, but I, like, truly just had forgotten about them. I'm like, oh no, I really, really, really do need to get these, and I love them because they're double-sided. <laughs> that makes me really happy. Uh, Mafia in the Morning, that song, man, it, it had me in a chokehold. I don't know what happened this summer, but, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, uh, these are the regular PCs. This is a Sonara Polaroid, and these are, like, first press thingies. Um, very, 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 very thankful to have all of these. Again, the backs are beautiful. Uh, these are a bunch of different uh, pre-order benefits. This is definitely with drama. This was like one of the first cards I bought and I bought it with one of my itzy friends who was doing a big go to get into the fan call and she did get in and she's Yeji Baez and she makes my heart really happy so this means a lot to me. But there's some sound waves in here and I don't know. I'm just very thankful. She's so beautiful. And this is another pre benefit which I don't really like to collect stuff that's this size, but I was just so in love with this and her little headscarf and everything. Oh no, I need that, so I'm really thankful. I have like the best itsy friends in the whole world. Like the girl I was talking about, the girl who sold me this, the girl who sells me all of my no bad day stuff. Like all of them are amazing and they are such a reason why I have the reusion collection that I have and I'm so grateful. But <laughs> different version uh, postcard thingies. Um, I also can't wait to get a four ring binder because for Itzy because then I'll be able to fold this one out and you'll be able to see the poster fully and it will look a lot better. Maybe I'll get the signed one once you can do that. I don't know. But okay, then we entered Crazy in Love, which was my first official comeback is Midzy. And these are all of the Target uh, cards, the first press Target cards. And then these are the different, um, six different photo cards for the Korean version. This is a pre benefit that I just thought matched and looked really cute and gave me a 7 pattern. I have so many more Crazy in Love pre benefits still coming in because they are just doing so many pre benefits. It's absolutely wild. But uh, I also am still missing the Crazy in Love Japanese stuff, but I will have that soon as well. But look at the backs. Is that not beautiful? Like, my heart, right? But then these are some more Crazy in Love pre benefits. And this is the Shopee. This is Sonara so 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 cute and again the backs are everything these are the target postcards <laughs> this is my very first random itsy pull of all time so i'm very emotionally attached this is another pre-order benefit i love that a lot and these are the random standees which now i'm only missing leah or yuna's i have one of them and so i'm like am i gonna collect ot5 and just put them on the back for that I don't know. These are the little Polaroid random pictures. I just pulled uh, Yeji and Yuna sets too, or I did trades with people that needed them, and now I have theirs too, so I just put them in there like this. <laughs> this is uh, Ryujin's first CSI season one set as well, and her little ID card thing that came with a little lanyard. And these are No Bad Days, July, August, and September. 
and like I said, it's special because July is when I became Midsy, August is when I announced it, and then we also have October, November, December. Look at the backs of these. Everything. Everything. This is the first fan club stuff. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep these in my binder. I might just keep this in my binder, but I'm just very thankful to have it. And then, last but not least, we have the season's greetings, the day version and the night version. And they are so freaking breathtaking. I have no words. <laughs> but, okay, that is my Itsy collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's get into Luna next. Okay, next is my Luna binder. And in Luna, I collect Kim Lip, Chu, and Olivia. I really, really, really wanted to redo this before this binder flipped through, but I just didn't get more four ring binders. Also, I want to put it so it's like all of their like solo albums are together and all of their attendance cards and stuff, but we're just going to ignore that right now and I'll just show you my photo card collection, but don't look too much at how it's set up because I do hope to change it soon. <laughs> but, um, oh my god, this is my only not friends card as of now. <laughs> but it's like my favorite photo card. Like, I'm obsessed with it. She looks so good. But this is what I have of Choose. So, so, so cute. And this is what I have of Olivia's. And this is my very first Luna pull ever, this Hustle. Hustle's also probably my fourth favorite, so I don't know. My heart, <laughs> I'm going to keep it forever. But again, I just want to get rid of some of these templates, right? I don't know. Like, what's the point of this? Like, come on. <laughs> also with hash, too, because it's like I have A, B, and then the pre-order. And I'm just like, Melanie, just put that on one line <laughs> and move, you know, focus on other stuff you want to collect. So cute. I'm obsessed. But Okay. And then we are on to midnight and okay so here are some pre-order benefits this is the midnight festival concert uh cards but the rest are all pre-order benefits <laughs> and then i have their full sets also when i redo my binders i might make it so it's like in columns instead of rows we will see <laughs> this would be like kim lip to olivia you know but this is uh version a this is version B. This is version C, my favorite version. <laughs> I love the backs too. And then version D. And then <laughs> the tickets that came with all the albums. I just think they're cute and they're hollow. And then the stickers as well. And then we move on to And Era. And these are the pre-order benefits that I got. And I love that there's two hollow ones. And <laughs> this Olivia, I don't know if it's like a pop or something, but the straw, a lot of people wanted this. <laughs> but I'm very thankful I got it. And those are the backs. And I love how it's like, um, you know, their colors. That's super cute. But okay, <laughs> this is the bane of my existence. I am still missing this chew card. It is the last one I need. I really, really need to rectify that. I have an open Nyokyo order. I'm like, Melanie, just look. But <laughs> she's doing the peace sign too, and it's so freaking cute. But I don't know. It's just really hard to find. But I have everything else complete. But this is version A, version B, version C and version d and i love this one a whole lot this one was kind of hard to find too but i did get it from neokio actually so but so 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 cute and then these are from the kino my friend evie sent this to me because she's so 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 sweet i'm so thankful and then these are the blackberry postcards and she sent me the olivia one which is my favorite i'm obsessed with it and then i bought kim's on makari us I love chews. I still want chews, but I'm like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> These go for kind of a lot of money, so I don't know. We will see. We will see. Oh, the back of the Kim lip one is kind of dirty, and I'm like, oh no, that Makari seller was a little dirty for that, but anyway. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so this is the VVIP stuff and I don't have their random special ones, right? <laughs> but I have all the other ones, and very, very, very thankful. And then these are summer packages. This is this year's. This is the year prior's. Evie did send me these, I think, too. And I'm just so thankful for them. And then I just put their stickers on the back. 
but I don't love how that looks, but it will make do for now. And then these are the postcards, which again, I just need to redo this or collect a fourth member because I just don't like that, right? But oh, these are so beautiful, these Polaroids. I'm so, so, so obsessed as well. And that's from Luna Island. And then we get into Seasons Greetings. This is the 2020 Seasons Greetings. And basically they always come with five cards. I don't know if this year's does or not, actually. I don't know. But I did pre-order it, so we will find out together in January. But <laughs> here's all Kim Lips. Here's all Chews. Here's all Olivia's. And then I put the other two on the back. But then you can still see the backs of the cards through the center row. And I think it looks really, really good. Or center column, excuse me. And then this is uh, last year's, 2021. And again, so, so, so beautiful. And the same. <laughs> thinking emoji she's so freaking cute ah okay and this is the uh first fan kit and i love these i'm obsessed with these <laughs> and then this is 2.0 and this is 3.0 and i am so 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 thankful to have these complete and then this is also the 2.0 postcards and this is the 3.0 postcards so, so, so perfect. I'm in love with those. And then these are the light stick pieces. I do have Chew's um, first round on the way. It just didn't get shipped out to me yet, but soon, soon, soon. But this is Kim Lip and Olivia's. And then this is round two, which again, Evie sent me because they are so freaking sweet. And Kim Lip, Chew, and Olivia. And I'm obsessed with these. These look so freaking good. And look at the backs. I'm just in love, genuinely. Um, some of my favorite photo cards. I feel like Luna just has such good, good, good concepts always, right? But, uh, and then these are the postcards that go with the light stick of version 1. And these are the postcards that go with the light stick of version 2. <laughs> and that is my Luna collection. I'm so grateful, so thankful. I love them so, so, so much. I hope we get an early, uh, 2022 comeback. And, I don't know. I just, I love them so, so, so much. Also, um, I am going to get the Hula Hoop, the Japanese debut stuff as well, and I am going to finish Kim Lips Not Friends stuff, and just lots of Luna stuff to come at the beginning of the year, and I'm very excited. But okay, <laughs> let's go on to Pentagon. Okay, also, I am so, so, so excited for Pentagon's comeback. <laughs> Last time I flipped through this, I, I did like a binder sort because I had like one Wusuk card. I was like, oh, I hope Pentagon have an early 20 2022 comeback and wow <laughs> higher powers listened but okay for pentagon wusak is my bias um but hui is the reason i got into pentagon and i just really love him a lot besides my friends lee and malis obviously <laughs> too but um i just love him a whole lot too but i have my whole wusak collection it's just in chronological order with everything uh, this is another one that I desperately, desperately wish I would have put in a four ring. I know I keep saying that. It's just really, really full. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. And I have to use the bigger Andy Jack pages because, like, these cards are a little bit bigger. So, like, Ultra Pros won't fit. So, I don't know. And I feel like Andy Jacks just really don't work well with these binders because they're too short. So, I don't know. But here's everything. We got some Dr. Bebe here with some Prater benefits as well. And then with Era, I became a uh, universe. I must said orbit. <laughs> I became universe uh, right before with comeback, right? So I went kind of, uh, I started going a little hard with with, um, but these are basically Prater benefits. These are the photo cards. And this is the scratcher. But these are Prater benefits. And then love or take. I bought every Wuzuk solo pre-order benefit. <laughs> So these are both make stars. They both are hollow, even though this one doesn't. There you go. But these are the three versions of the albums, right? And I said that I wanted to get like a unit, like um, fan sign, uh, Parade Benefit to put in the middle here, but I never did. I don't know. I'll have to think about that too when I'm redoing this. But do you see how that looks a little bit like it's kind of like getting a little bit like warped because these are just too big for this binder and I'm like oh no I don't like that but um I do not know off the top of my head what all of the pre-order benefits are I'm so sorry but they are his full solo pre-order benefits at least for Korean stores right and I'm really really thankful and he's so beautiful and I cannot believe <laughs> these ones are my favorite I think this one is my favorite favorite uh, but Pentagon are just so talented and I genuinely miss them and I'm so excited for this comeback, you have no idea. But this is Wusuk's collab, uh, with the 
only the photo cards with Wusak, obviously. <laughs> These are uh, Season's Greetings. Uh, is it 2020? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, I think it is 2020. And I love, uh, Yuto is like a really, really strong wrecker for me too, so I don't know, but I got this set with both of them, and then they're club PC as well, and I'm like, okay, we love it here, so I just kept it. Um, this is last year's season's greetings, and then these are gorilla PCs, which are double-sided <laughs> with other members on the back. <laughs> Shinwon sends me, oh my god. Okay, this is his um, Charms t-shirt collab PC. <laughs> this is the one that I put away, and then I uh, I was trying to summon the comeback, right? But um, I did do a go, I think I did a go with my friend, who I just really, I like love her a lot. She's Yuto Bias, actually, um, for this year's season's greetings. But, um, okay, so these are signed uh, Japanese postcards for Shine and for uh, Into the Violet, we love to see it. <laughs> and then these are the bigger album inclusions. <laughs> it's a little bit messy, it's a little bit messy. Oh, this is kind of a newer thing, I don't know. Uh, so basically, these don't pop up too regularly on Nyokyo, but basically someone ha had one and I asked them about it or maybe they commented to me about it, I can't remember, but people say like that this was like it like a cafe event thing, right, for thumbs up and that you got a random member and that like obviously this one's Wusuk so I'm like oh wow, but they gave me like the back and everything too, I'm like wow that's just behind it, but I really really like that. <laughs> Okay, 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 about to get to the best part of my Wusa collection, the Yanan dab. <laughs> Sends me to heckin' bag, but I'm obsessed. And then these are all the Lover Take um, posters. They, they are, I put the third one in the middle there, right? <laughs> okay, these are some stickers. Like I said, I've got I've got just random ones too. Obviously this one's Yuto, I'm like, okay. And then this is some concert merch stuff for Prism. And then this is just some random things too, so Pentagon on air, and then this is last year's Season's Greetings postcard with it. <laughs> and then this is the With Live, which I did watch with my friends, and just lots of happy, good memories. This is a Dr. Bebe sticker that Leah got for me for some holiday, and it took me forever to get this. I'm like, oh my god, this is Wusuk's collab stickers. But see, like, I don't know if I want to display stuff like this in my binder. I really, really, really love this sticker, so I definitely will still display that. But, I don't know. It's also weird that I have that in the very back. I don't know why I do. <laughs> but, again, getting a revamp soon, soon, soon. But... I don't know. I just love Wusuk so much. I miss Pentagon so much. They're so freaking talented. I'm so excited. Actually, while I'm filming this today, the set list dropped, and I want to say that the title track is called Feeling Like, and I just love the new logo. I love, like, the aesthetic of it already. It's, like, edgy, but so classy and sophisticated, and I'm like, ooh, are we gonna get, like, a dark, but, like, classy era? I don't know. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm very excited. But, okay, that was my Wizard collection. Very, very, very thankful. And, gosh, what do we have next? Um, I guess, speaking of feeling like, what about feel like? We'll go into some woods. <laughs> that was such a bad transition, oh my god. Okay, this is my very random multi-binder. Um, I have lofty goals of maybe turning this into a mini binder in 2022, but I always make promises and attempt to make mini binders, and then it never works out. <laughs> I promise I was gonna put 17 in a mini binder, but it's just impossible. But okay. <laughs> this is from uh, Olivia's Japanese special edition, and it came with a little sticker. And I saw Braddy buy this and put this. I don't know if he put it in his binder or not, but he definitely like showed this and was like, oh, this is cool. It's like a photo card. And I was like, oh, I want that. And so I bought that. <laughs> Shout out to Braddy. Um, okay, Jenny from Blackpink. Um, I always say this, there's three K-pop idols I noticed a lot before I got into K-pop. One was Jimin from BTS, the second was Jenny from Blackpink, and the third was Kai from EXO. <laughs> so I do think that Jenny would be my Blackpink bias, and I just really, really like her, honestly. And I think that she's one of the most beautiful humans in the whole world. But, like, honestly, like, I really like Rosé, too, so I don't know. But I still think Jenny would be my bias. Um, but Kai would definitely be my EXO bias. <laughs> 
I would say he'd be my super unbiased, but it's either him or Taemin. I love Taemin. Even though I don't think that Taemin would be my shiny bias, I think he would be my shiny bias. So I don't know. That's really weird, but <laughs> much to think about. But all of these cards were gifted to me. <laughs> this is my favorite like K-pop photo card in existence. <laughs> Who did this? I love it. And then Momo would be my twice bias as well. I am contemplating starting a twice collection. I just feel like I've liked their music for so long now, but I do think it's overwhelming because twice just have so many photo cards. But all of my friends tell me like, oh no, Melanie, you'd like it so much. You'd have so much fun. And obviously I'm collecting 17 now and they have a ton of stuff. So I'm just like, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But um, Momo would be my bias, but I really, really, really love Sana as well. I don't know, do with that information, which you will, but <laughs> this is just... A cute little first page of this unhinged multi-binder. Um, okay, so this is Shaneo from Monster X. He would 100% be my Monster X bias. I just really, really love him a lot. Leah got me both of these cards. Leah is like a huge Monster X fan. Juhani is her bias, so <laughs> it's just really cute. She got me this card with both of them. I'm like, oh no, I love that. He's always just giving me the best energy in the whole world, and I think he's a really kind soul, and I just really like him. And then this is Eric from The Boys. Now, he would not be my bias. <laughs> But he's my best friend Amy's bias, and Amy's the one who gifted me this album in which I pulled this man holds in a little pineapple cup. So I don't know, but I just kept it because it reminds me of her. My bias in the boys, okay, so I thought that my bias in the boys would be this man, but I actually think my bias in the boys would be Q. <laughs> so I don't know, I don't know if you saw that bias pull video, but we look away, we look away. But okay, then we get into Woods, right? I uh, desperately need to work on his solo debut, but I do have the pre-order ID card <laughs> with some cute little stickers from Whoops. Uh, but then we get into Whoops, and I'm really happy with what I have for this. These are all the first press cards, and then these are just three photo cards uh, that I pulled, and I'm really happy with that. I pulled a fourth, but it was a dupe. I can't remember. I think I gave it away. I don't know. But then we get into set, which is when I became moods, and I just love him so much. I think he is so talented. I never thought I would collect a solo artist ever, um, but I, I just can't help but want to collect him. I might not collect him as thoroughly as I wish I could, right? Because he has so many photo cards, it's ridiculous. But I am just so thankful for what I do have. Uh, these, of course, are not going to have the names of what they came from, but I'm pretty sure this one is the Kino that I pulled. And then these two are probably from Make Star, maybe from With Drama, because they're hollows, right? And then I think these are from My Music Taste. I think. I could be wrong, but... And then these are the uh, first press cards, so it's one through six. I'm obsessed with the hula hoop one. <laughs> I didn't pull the hula hoop one, I was so sad about it, but I'm so happy I got it. And they have QR codes on the back. And then this is um, seven through twelve. Well, 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 and that's all of them. And then uh, these are just the photo cards that I pulled. I bought two different sets of albums, I think. But yeah. Those are all the photo cards. <laughs> this was my first pull. It's kind of cursed, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, and then we have his latest comeback, which is Only Lovers Left. And these are all six first press cards. And I'm so thankful I actually was able to pull this one. I'm like, wow. But there are the backs. <laughs> and then these are the pre-order benefits that I got. These are from K-Town. These are from M-Wave because I did get the signed albums and they actually came with pre-order cards this time. I'm like, wow, that was not the case for set. And then I didn't know that K-Town was doing pre-order cards. So I'm like, wow, but I would like to get another set if I'm keeping him in a um, three ring binder uh, or, or four ring binder. But um, if I'm putting him in a mini binder, I'm happy with just these four genuinely. And I really love the backs of the M-Wave ones. These are the photo cards I pulled. <laughs> These four. So from the two sets of albums, the four albums in total. And then these are message cards. And they have a little thing you can rip off on the back. Uh, but I have not done that. But um, I don't know. We'll see if we get more photo cards. We'll see if we get more message cards, right? Obviously, um, it works out nice if I'm going to do a mini binder because four and four, right? I love this one so much. He is so beautiful. I wasn't sure if I was going to like like the long hair on him because obviously I became moods when he had short hair. So I'm just so used to that, which I know like isn't, you know, like most people are used to him with longer hair. But no, he, it, the most beautiful, I can't believe. 
but those are the backs <laughs> and like I said these are message cards that have a perforation and these are photo cards but okay these are all of the big uh, postcard inclusions from set I actually didn't put any of the postcard inclusions from only lovers left or the bookmarks just because again I'm unsure if I want to put this in a mini binder and if I do I'm not gonna put these big postcards right but these ones I think are the regular ones and then all of these ones are first press only I think I think I think I think but so 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 beautiful and then we move on to purple kiss <laughs> purple kiss okay so gone is my bias and purple kiss and swan is my wrecker um this is uh into the violet did I call Pentagon's Japanese uh, comeback into the violet because of Purple Kiss when it's just violet? Did I do that? I might have done that. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, make Star Pruder Benefits. Evie got me this for my birthday. Forever so thankful because this card put me through it. But <laughs> so, so, so grateful. Um, and then these are the ticket and the stickers that kind of look like tickets. I don't know. But... <laughs> that is that and then I have very much been slacking on hide or seek so I do have all of go ons but I do not have all of swans and it doesn't even make sense because I have cards to trade and I'm obviously trading other things right I'm like why am I being lazy with purple gifts I don't even know but here's go ons full set and one swan card <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, here's Goan's Make Star Pruder Benefit and Swan's Make Star Pruder Benefit. And then Goan's Ticket. So I am done with Goan. It's just Swan I'm not. I don't know. I need to I need to finish that. But here are their posters. Again, these will look better if I get a four ring binder. But I do have their posters as well. And then we get into my very questionable Mamamoo collection. <laughs> Okay, I love Solar. I think she is so freaking breathtaking. I think she has one of the best voices in K-pop. Um, I'm just in love with her. And yeah, I don't know. Um, I think this is called Reality in Black. I bought this album and traded for her cards. And then my friend Eliana sent me this one. My friend Eliana sent me a lot of those Kai cards too. And I'm just really, really thankful. But <laughs> this was my very questionable multi-binder. <laughs> I don't know I uh, it brings me joy it makes me giggle and I just always like showing this page too and just thinking like what if I would have got into k-pop sooner or later or who knows just a different journey than what I did like I don't know it's just really wild to think of the different collections I could have you know you know you know you know <laughs> okay well, let's get into the last binder which is one dream txt <laughs> Okay, this feels a little bit, like, uh, weird because I have flipped through and, like, redone this binder really recently in its own video. I will link it down below. I hope this isn't too repetitive. That's what I'll say. But, uh, this is a scan of my Subin fan sign page. <laughs> and it's so cute. It makes my heart so happy. But, okay. We get into TXT's debut, which is Star, uh, part of the Dream Chapter. This is a Doodle Dawn by Subin PC, and it means everything to me. It's my, uh, prob yeah, it's my favorite Subin PC, right? <laughs> it means the most to me. And my friend Faye gave it to me, and I just love her so much. I'm so thankful for her. Also, this binder is my most full four-ring binder, and I am going to have to switch it to two binders soon, soon, soon. I don't know how I want to separate it yet, because uh, I feel like my BTS binder gives me a lot of grief trying to separate it and so I just I want I don't want that with TXT I want it to be like cohesive and be like okay you know but we'll see we'll see we'll see but this is my magic page with my two new photo cards can you believe from the frame set but yeah these are the album inclusions the ID cards which put people through hell to get now people do not sell and trade for these but these are the two PC sized uh, frame PCs and these are the postcard frame PCs and oh my heart is so happy. This picture of Subin in particular is one of my favorites of all time and he's got the books, he's in the library. It just does a lot for me. I'm obsessed with it. But <laughs> okay then we get into Eternity which is probably my favorite TXT era and it's probably my favorite TXT album and it just means a whole lot to me. And I don't know, I think they're the most beautiful PCs too, this in particular, and I just love it a whole lot. 
and then we have his two lucky draws from eternity and we have his with fans as well um, I've had a few friends offer the um, clear uh, signature Lucky Draws of Subin's, but they're still so expensive, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to spend that when his face isn't on it, <laughs> but we'll see. Maybe one day. But, oh my gosh, I just got the Subin uniform PC from my dear friend Pamela. She got it for me for Christmas. I cannot believe. I am so thankful, so honored. You have no idea. And then I have the group PC from before, and my heart's just so happy. <laughs> I can't believe it. So, so, so grateful. And then we enter Blue Hour. And uh, I always say this, but this was my flex because I pulled this before I knew it was super rare to get. <laughs> I pulled it upon, you know, um, release and everything. Uh, but these are Subin's three versions and Kai's three versions. And then the Target uh, exclusive card that looks like a freebie, but we move, we move. <laughs> And I love doing the QR codes in the back and throughout my TXT, uh, through my BTS um, binder too. I just think it looks good. I genuinely like it. But okay, these are my Blue Hour Lucky Draws that I have that I'm so grateful to have. I have three of Subin's and three of Hyunin Kai. And uh, these ones are the ones with the drawings on the back. And obviously I love it extra whenever he does the bunny now because of my fan sign page. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So these are the Weverse second pre-order cards. Um, these are the three rounds of with fans, one, two, and three. These are the Weverse first round pre-order, and these are Mesema PCs. And these are so cute because the backs of these are so cute. <laughs> with the little heart, I'm like, oh no. And then we just have the Blue Hour postcards, which <laughs> I like to move around a lot, so I try to flip through them quickly, quickly. But then we are entering the chaos chapter and we are entering Freeze era and I have all five of their Star Seeker cards because I love the TU, I love all their alternate realities um, for Hybe artists, right? And these ones look like little saint cards so I extra love them. <laughs> but okay, here are Subin's three PCs and Kai's three PCs with the Target exclusive card in the middle. And then these are all of Subin's lucky draws. Now this is also for the Chaos chapter, um, Fighter Escape. <laughs> I just put them all on one page because he has nine in total. I don't love that though, and I think about changing it, maybe, I don't know, I still have the Fighter Escape um, with fans coming, so we'll see if I end up changing anything and just putting these on a six page together. But I think it's MTU, Soundwave, and Power Station, and this is round one, this is round two, and then this is round one for um, Fighter Escape. But I love this one because the other side of my fan sign page is this picture, so, <laughs> and I love that it's in the middle, so I'm like, wow. But the backs are all pretty and look good together. But okay, these are all of Subin's pre-order benefits that I have for uh, Freeze era. I think it could be all of them. I think, I think so. Um, this is his Weverse. Um, this is his Shopee PC, which is double-sided. These are the three rounds of with fans, one, two, and three. This is his Neighbor PC. This is his Apple Music PC. This is his Yes24 PC. And this is his Lozada PC, which is my favorite of them all. <laughs> my dear friend Pat got that for me too, so I just love her a lot. And then I have some Kai equivalents on the back. <laughs> for um, My friend Bob sent me um, Kai's round three because he's really sweet. And then I pulled the Weaver Spirit Benefit. And then I got the Yes24 and the Apple Music for Kai as well. But these are postcards that you got if you bought enough Lucky Draws at the stores. <laughs> and then, okay, so these are just the regular postcards for Freeze Era. These are the Aladdin Predator Benefits. They are a little bit different, and they're holographic, but I feel like they never show... Oh, yeah, you can definitely see Kai's. Okay, okay. <laughs> but Subin's is too. I promise, I promise. And then there's just the group PC. Okay, so... Here is uh, the postcards. <laughs> they like to slide, so I'm like, oh no. But, oh, do you see? I'm like, oh please. But, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I want to do a second binder. If I just want to do bigger inclusions or what. I have to think about it. Okay, this is the second set of Star Seeker cards for the Chaos Chapter for Fighter Escape. 
and they have their little Pokemon. No, I'm just kidding, but they're so cute. This bomb cute card means everything to me because a really, really, really sweet army sent it to me with a really, really, really sweet note. So whenever I look at it, I get very emotionally unstable. <laughs> I love all of their little um, different color stars. But okay, this is Subin and Kai's stuff for uh, Fight or Escape. So these are the regular PCs for Fight and Escape. And these are the regular PCs for Fighter Escape. And then these are the Fighter Escape jewel cases, the Essential Edition. And the Harley Quinn PCs are just so freaking superior, it's ridiculous, but okay. Uh, obsessed. And then this is the Target pre-order card. I'm very curious to see if Target will do exclusive member pre-order cards next time because they did for 17 and they did for, um, uh, in hype then. I was gonna say Itzy. They did a full set for Itzy. We would love to see a full set for TXT. <laughs> okay, so this is all of Subin's Fighter Escape pre-order benefits, except for the with fans that haven't came in yet, and except for Lazada, which is gonna get to me soon, 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 because, um, I got it through Faye in Faye's, um, K. Addy, and I think it's shipping up next, and then not Music Korea because Music Korea it's like transparent and I just didn't know if I wanted it or not but I keep going back and forth I don't know but this is his Aladdin PC uh, which is so freaking nice this is his Inner Park PC which I'm obsessed with these are stickers they might be from Universal Music maybe these are the Weaver Spreader benefits that were region locked but my dear friend Mandy who I love so much and who's a YouTuber too uh, she uh, did a go and she secured me both of them and then these are Japanese pre-orders are they Tower Records in Universal Music? I don't know and then this is the Weaver's Japan pre-order benefit <laughs> So I think it looks really, really good, but we'll see how I organize everything once everything comes to me. And this is his Apple Music, which I don't really like that much, so I just put it on the side. These are his AR codes, which I constantly show to you guys. I'm not going to show you this time because I don't want this. This video is already too long, but you know what they look like. It's him with flowers, that both of them with flowers showing, and then this is just them skateboarding. But very, very cute, very, very thankful to have. <laughs> And then these are their standees, which I don't know if I'm going to keep. Uh, it's for fight or escape. I don't know if I'm going to keep these in my binder or not, but we'll see. And then these are the postcard sets. Again, that like to slide <laughs> for fight and for escape. Okay, so these are for the jewel cases again for Fighter Escape, and basically the covers, there was member exclusive, like this is what they look like, but on the other side they have little messages. These are both Subins for Fight or Escape, and then, <laughs> ooh, I skipped it, and then <laughs> these are both Kai's, <laughs> so, 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 so cute. Um, I don't know if I love how those are displayed either, but we move. But okay, then we get into TXT's Japanese debut, which was Magic. And I finally have completed this and I feel so happy about it. This is his poster. I want to get Kai's too so I can put it in a two pocket. I think it'll look better. You'll see for other Japanese eras that it looks better when there's two. So basically, um, these are his Weeply and his actual photo card, right? And these are kind of hard to come by. I was able to buy both of these from Faye. And again, I just love her so much. I'm so thankful for her. And then we get into drama era. And this is uh, Wow Wow, Wow Wow PCs. So this is a Subin's regular card and Subin's Wow Wow. And then Kai's regular card and Kai's Wow Wow. And then this is still Magic Era with the postcard and then this little coaster thingy. And then these are both of their drama postcards. <laughs> so, so, so cute. And then, see, it looks better when there's two. True, true, true. But these are the flyers for drama, which love 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 and i love the back so cute and then these are the postcards for drama again and then uh for still dreaming as well oh i should say that before i start okay so obviously this is japanese stuff right <laughs> okay so these are uh subin's four still dreaming cards these are kai's four still dreaming cards and then this is his japanese fan club pc from last year there is a new one now which I have to get. But what I want to say is 
I have all of Subin's stuff from Chaotic Wonderland, minus the two more expensive Lucky Draws. I don't have those, but I have everything else in the other two cheaper Lucky Draws. But I have it all, all of his cards, um, the subunit cards, everything, in the Neokio warehouse. I really was hoping that I would get it shipped out before the new year so that I could actually have it here, you know, uh, going into 2022, but it's just not going to happen. And... <laughs> I just have to move, you know? I, I promise a binder sort of all Subin's Chaotic Wonderland soon, soon, soon. But, okay. Broadcast PCs. Um, one of my goals for 2022 is just to be more serious with Subin's broadcast PCs and Subin's things. I really, really, really... Subin is my only other alt besides Jimin. And because I've been collecting them for so long, I feel like I have pretty decent footing where I can be a completionist and get a lot of his stuff that's more expensive, right? Um, without feeling, like, overwhelmed, where, like, <laughs> I'm never gonna get all Jimin's broadcast PCs and stuff, right? So I definitely want to, uh, you know, get some Chaos Chapter things done, um, get some Angel and Devil things done, but this is Subin, one of Subin's crown broadcasts and one of Kai's um, crown broadcast, and then this is Subin's Blue Hour broadcast, which is so, so, so cute. <laughs> okay, and these are their postcards in the first hour photo book, and then this is their postcards for the New Year's Eve, a uh, little bash thing, and the group PC. This is their fan live stuff, which I have cards to trade to try to get all of Subin's. Please trade with me. <laughs> This is like the sixth time I've begged about it on my channel, but these are the mini bag PCs. These are the fan live mini photo cards, and I'm hoping to complete Subin somewhat soon. But this is the, uh, this is Dream by Together, this is Shine by Together, the second, uh, fan meet. And these are all of Subin's cards. This is when Big Hit was still giving us eight cards a thing and being legit. Now they keep doing weird stuff with ten, I'm like, what are you doing? But this is Kai's. <laughs> and these are the units. And here are some more units, and I basically did goes with some of my friends for these. And then these are the um, Shine By Together uh, DVD cards, and they're so beautiful. Like, you have no idea, and that performance means a lot to me, and I just love them so much. And these are their Wow Wow PCs, and I don't know, my heart's just very, very, very full. <laughs> And then this is more Shine By Together. This is their IDs. And then these are for buying the concert. You could also buy the ID cards. These are all really, really thick plastic Lucky Draw material. They kind of feel like little subway cards again, right? And then this is for their first concert, Act Boy. These are the mini photo cards. And this is when they started giving us 10. And I'm like, why did you do that? <laughs> but, um, and those are those 10. And then this is like the start of Kai's and then his other eight, right? But basically, this is Subin's mini bag PC, and then this is his freeze uniform PC, and I've said this before, but basically, I did a go for Kai's mini bag PC, which was so stupid of me, I shouldn't have done it, but I did because I was scared things were gonna sell out, so I was like, okay, but then I think that that, like, is not happening, so I'm just like, oh no. So I just put Subin's freeze uniform here, and I don't love these PCs because, like, the quality is not that great, so I just stuck it there, and I don't think it looks too bad, and then I have Kai on the other side. <laughs> ah, okay, so then we have the rest of Kai's set, and then we have the subunits, which again, I don't know if I want to collect subunits in uh, the new year. We will see. But I do have their special cards here, and I have Taeyeon's special card there as well. And then I have their photo book PCs, but these are so thick. I don't know if I want to put these in my binder either, but for right now, we just have them in there, and we just, we aren't thinking about it. <laughs> okay, and then we get into Season's Greetings, which, oh my gosh, I know I'm just in pout, but I am so sad that we didn't get a full set of TXT Seasons Greetings photo cards this year. Like, I'm so sad about that, you have no idea. But, um, okay, so I did buy the Seasons Greetings the year, you know, it came out and stuff. This was 2020s, um, and I pulled Kai. And then this Subin ID card, that was like my most sought after card for so long. But I finally got it, and I'm so thankful. And yeah, that is this page. And then this is 2021, which they're so beautiful. I just love them so much. And then 
<laughs> these are the season's greetings uh, tickets. Uh, they were random that you got, and I got Subin and Kai's, and these are the Shine By Together bookmarks, and I got Subin and Kai's again. I'm very thankful for that. I need another weird sized random inclusion to fill out that page. But okay, so these are some just DVD cards of Subin. This is the first story DVD card. This is the second hour photo book card, which is obviously Sukai. I pulled Yonkai, but then I traded for Sukai. And then this is Subin's most recent 2022 season's greetings card, which I just traded with such a sweet Moa. She was so sweet, and I just really, really liked her a lot. And then these are his makeup collab PCs. I do have the third one on the way, which is why it's not in like a shiny one. <laughs> And it looks like this, but a little bit different. But that will come in the Neo Kyo haul too. And that's the other side of the season's gradients. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this is the third hour photo book. And basically, okay, so I kept all the cards, but um, I put Subin and Kai on top, and then I put their perspective units here. And it works out so perfect because, like, obviously Yeonjun's older than Kai, right? And then Taeyeon is, like, younger than Subin. And it just works out really, really cute and perfect. And even, like, Yeonjun being in between the Subins and Tae being in between the Kais, I'm like, oh no. And then you flip the page. And it's the same way, but with Bomgyu. And I'm like, oh no, that was really galaxy. <laughs> that really worked out really great for me. We love it here. But anyways, <laughs> okay, so uh, these are the random inclusions. Uh, I pulled Taeyeon, and then I traded for Yeonjun, and then I traded Yeonjun for Hyunin Kai with Amy, and then I bought a second one, and I pulled Subin. <laughs> I'm very, 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 very thankful, so... We love to see it. And then these are the Starseeker cards, which the Starseeker video is still my most watched video and my heart is very happy and I love anything that's like books uh, related with stuff and I don't know, it just makes my heart really happy. But here's Subin and Kai's cards. And then here is Yeonjun, Bangyu, and Taeyeon's cards as well. And then we have Subin birthday merch, which again, they gave us 10 cards. <laughs> They gave us 10 cards, excuse me. And then this is his bracelet PC card. And then these are the little wishes sets. I still am on the hunt for Subin's um, cardigan PC. I hope to get it. And then these are the Hybe Insight cards. Uh, round one for Subin and for Kai. Well, these are both Subin's postcards. <laughs> but these are um, Subin's PCs and these are Kai's PCs. And I just think it's really beautiful. And I kind of like how this page turned out, if you'll be honest opinion. Um, this is my MOA kit, uh, my card, and all of the uh, PCs. I did order the most recent one, and I'm very excited about it. And I'm very curious what TXT is up to with this four-leaf clover thing. I'm like, oh, is this like some hints to a comeback? I don't know. And then these are their light stick PCs. <laughs> Here, actually, let me flop all this over and then I will show you, but um, when I did my uh, binder sort, uh, put together this whole thing video, um, I forgot to show the back of my binder, but it's a really, really cute. I think you guys will like it, but, okay, okay. <laughs> Hi, look at how cute that is. It's all my friend's um, business cards, and I just stuck it in the back here, uh, and this is Pat. <laughs> And this is Faith, and this is Riley, and this is Bob, and I don't know, my heart's just really, really happy. It makes me feel really, really warm and fuzzy looking at it. <laughs> but, okay, friends, uh, that was my last binder. Let me do an outro, but, whew, this video's gonna be so long. I'm so sorry. Okay, <laughs> that was everything. Oh my word. I know this video is so long and I appreciate you guys so much for sticking uh, with me and for watching it. Truly, I love you so much. Um, I also just want to take a minute to acknowledge that I realize how privileged it is to be able to collect all of these photo cards and to make videos like this for you. And I will always acknowledge that privilege um, and I will always be so grateful for every single photo card that I haul. But I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it brought you happiness. I hope you know how much happiness you bring me. I am sending you and your loved ones so much love and good health and warmth for this new year and for always. And I promise you in June, we will add a 17 binder or two to uh, these flip throughs. <laughs> and I'm very excited about that. But okay, friends, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. 
Um, and Happy New Year. This will be the very last video I post this year, which feels so surreal, but Happy New Year, and I will see you in 2022.